Okay. <sighs> Finally. I kick the table. Finally. Finally. <sighs> I have my MPP 10Z Battle Damage Optimus Prime. Wei Zhang, of course. Now, the story behind this little guy, I've actually ordered him twice. Uh, the first time, off eBay, just like this one. It was my one and only bad experience with eBay. Don't know what the hell what the, the, the deal was. I live in West Virginia. He got shipped to Kentucky. And then the seller ghosted on me. So I had to go through the process with eBay themselves to get my refund in order to do that you gotta wait you gotta contact the seller wait three days and if that doesn't go through then they step in. It, it's a pain in the butt. So I got my refund, ordered them again and it's been about three months I think two or three waiting on him and I was getting a little worried with this one as well because I hadn't had an update since August 5th I kept checking and checking, nothing. And then it finally updated on the 25th of this month. Uh, he was in New York. And a couple days later, he was in Charleston. And now he's here. It actually showed on the page it wasn't uh, scheduled for delivery until Wednesday. Which made no sense to me. I'm just like, if he's in Charleston, why the hell is it going to take two days to get to where I'm at? And he was there this morning. And oh my god. Is he Freaking incredible. Just, oh, You know, watching videos, reviews, just checking the figure out. I'm so excited. Because I'm not, you know, I'm more into the Nemesis Prime. Uh, you know, I don't, I love Optimus and all, but the bright colors, the red and the blue, just, they really stuck with me. So I got the, my B first. Which, I think I overpaid for him. I was kind of aggravated <laughs> with this figure too. I got him relatively quickly off eBay. Because um, I'm, I'm fairly new to the whole figure collecting. And I started searching around. I saw the, this one and everybody was talk, raving about it. Talking it was so awesome. But the videos were all like a year old. And I read a couple of posts on some forums that good luck finding one and then I searched in Google and certainly you know never came up with nothing and then one day I seen this guy on eBay $185 he was in Las Vegas ordered it got it here in a couple of days and I mean there's nothing wrong with him you know he's a great figure yeah, but then like two days later I was searching around for some other stuff and on tfdirect.com 99 bucks so that kind of sucked, but either way, I don't care. But, like I said, I, I've always been more into Nemesis Prime, the black, darker versions. Like, I was debating on him or Shattered Glass, Optimus. And ultimately went with the Nemesis Prime because he's just so awesome. I mean, come on. And, I mean, I'll get the Shattered Glass version as well. I'm actually eyeballing one on TF Direct. Comes with the trailer and everything. It's like 99 bucks on sale. It's a great deal. And I just got these in the other day. Is a Septicon emblem. I need to order one for Optimus here. Autobot. I need actually to glue this thing in here. I mean, they're supposed to, you know, pop in, but this thing comes out no problem. So I need to put a little bit of super glue on there. Cause it ain't like I'm gonna remove it. Luckily, I didn't have to take his arm apart or nothing because I watched some videos on that about changing it and yada yada. Take his all you can get the thing popped off, so you had to take his arm apart, and mine snapped out pretty good. But anyway, take him over there. Uh, I ain't really much to say that hasn't already been said about this guy. You know, I'm not planning on making a freaking 20 30 minute video which I do not understand. 
I'm not watching them, but goddamn, how much can you talk about a fi an action figure? But he is just so freaking cool. Um, and the thing about this, too, is the fact that a lot of this is hand-painted. Like, some of the videos I watched, I compared to mine, and it like, there's different scuffs. Like, I have a lot of, like, scratches and stuff on his forearm right here. And the other ones I watched don't have none of that. And I know some of the complaints that I'd seen on these videos is, like, you know, he's got the replacement hands with the better articulation, but they're not color matched for the rest of him. And people talked about, you know, because his hands that's on there right now aren't battle damaged. But mine aren't. Mine are nice and scratched up, like he's been punching the hell out of some Decepticons. So, ain't gotta worry about that. And I don't care about that extra articulation anyway. I mean, as long as he can hold his gun, I'm good to go there. Which, I haven't really paid my, looked at this thing really well. Figure out where the heck to put the batteries. Since it does light up. I'd say you pop off the back here somewhere, but I don't see where it would come out. I don't know. Might have to take it apart. Hmm. Ain't a big deal. Of course, it's got battle damage on it, too. Scratches. And I've already got his um, fold-up gun in his back. I never really plan on using it since he's got this one. I think it's a lot better. So, and so I would have folded it up, put it in there. And the thing about this figure, I, you know, a lot of people have talked about it and then I found out firsthand when I got it. Because of the type of paint that they use that it's, you know, matte and it's not gloss like the, like the rest of them, it's got a lot of rigidity to it. I mean, he is freaking tight on his, like his elbows and his legs especially. His knees, of course, are fine. But like his leg joints, man. Ugh. I may need to look out about how to maybe loosen those up. I'm not sure which screw it'd be. I got two in the back there. I'm trying to make that a little bit easier. You know, I don't want to be messing with him and posing him and his freaking legs snap off. Uh, as far as I can see, freaking styrofoam. I'm not noticing any real issues with him. I mean, a couple things are loose. Uh, not that one. One of his smokestacks is kind of loose. Not terribly, though. Not no real big deal. But the biggest thing, though, is his matrix. I've noticed uh, the jewel in the center is kind of loose inside. See there? That ain't no real big thing to me because it's gonna sit in his chest for the most part. I love that bright orange. I don't know if that's how it looks with like the regular MPP ten or MP ten because I don't ever plan on really buying one of those unless it's some kind of a special edition. Like I would have loved to have that animation one. I just seen a video on it the other day on YouTube. Thought it was pretty cool looking. Transforming, well, you know, I'm not going to sit here and transform him. That, you can watch videos of that and other ones because, for one, I'm not really messed with him too much, even though it's not that complicated, but because of the fact that the paint is so tight, I mean, like his forearm over here, I had to get a knife, which, that's the beauty thing about this figure, you know, anything kind of a little too tight or whatever, you got to fiddle with it. If you scratch it, so what, it just adds to it, but his, um, piece right here I couldn't get it to snap out so I had to actually get a knife and pry it apart just kind of messing with him and then I had to push it with both hands back together to get that tab to snap in there because it just would not go together his head up and down is a little bit loose but I think that's just kind of par for the course with this mold because the MPP 10B over here is just like that 
Nemesis. But as long as it keeps its position where you put it, which I guess he won't. He won't ever be looking up. Yeah, there we go. But yeah, for the most part. His neck's a little bit off in there. Nothing major. I think I can fix that too. But my God. I just love the paint on this thing. This is what makes this figure so awesome. It's not really the battle damage. It's the paint scheme itself. The colors that they used. They're just awesome. I mean, like I said, that bright blue and red is not really my thing with this one. It's just the matte blue, you know, kind of a darker color. And the red. He just looks so good. Oh yeah, I'm excited to pose him up with Nemesis here in some battle stances. Because here's his axe, his Energon axe, which mine I'm going to have to kind of, uh, it's kind of warped and bent in some places. Which one could say that they, you know he's used it so much, maybe it's damaged. But you know, since it's an energy projection, that wouldn't wouldn't really apply. <laughs> One of his spikes is kind of warped up there, but and it's kind of loose in his base, too. Which really isn't, again, not the end of the world. Because it'll still hold whatever pose, you know, putting it on his hand, it's not like it's going to matter. As long as it's not flopping over if it's sitting like that, which it's not. So, and then he comes with uh, his own little spike, which if you have one of these figures, they're all the same, so that doesn't matter. Um, and then you got that other set of hands, of course. I left those in the box because I never plan on using them. And they're actually they're a lighter blue, more tuned to the regular Optimus Prime MPP10. That's the what the complaint a lot of people had because initially, I guess maybe they changed it, or maybe I just got a lucky one. The those hands were the only ones that showed battle damage, and these didn't but luckily mine have a lot of battle damage on them so they will be staying on and he's got this awesome like gun like I said okay, let me see here. which it might fit in his hand I don't know oh yeah it's got a tab on there come on you bugger Well, yeah. Eventually, when I get, I just have to tab it in there. I don't feel like messing with it that much. Man, it's, I just noticed that too. His fingers are freaking tight as hell. Damn it. Hmm. Bend, damn it, bend. But yeah. So glad. I mean, I've had some crazy luck with these figures trying to get some of them. Like, like I said, I just told the story of him. I had to order him twice because the first time he went to Kentucky, and then I couldn't get a hold of the seller to get the other one. And then, go over here. My Mega Nemesis Prime. This bad boy. When I first ordered him, and he was about to get here, he was at, there was no issues right off the bat. He ended up getting set on the wrong pallet. I went to the post office and talked to him. He got put on the wrong pallet, sent to the wrong place. So they had to put him back on there and ship him back off. He ended up getting him like two days after I was supposed to have initially. But he got here, thankfully. I love this thing. I mean, he might be all plastic, but God, the posability on him. And he just looks so awesome, too. Man. And the gun he comes with is ungodly big. Look at that thing. No kid can hold that as a weapon. Freaking ridiculous. And then, my 3A Ultra Magnus. 
This freaking thing. This was probably the most expensive figure that I'd bought at the time. You know, he's two hundred dollars. Um, keeping an eye on the Nemesis Prime and even the Optimus Prime version of this 3A. See if they go down in price. But the Think Geek had this one exclusive, and it was one ninety nine. Okay, and I finally decided to take the plunge, buy the sucker. But there was an issue with my dress, with what I was told. That's ultimately what I found out. But I didn't know that at first. You know, I clicked purchase, and it popped up denied by something or other. Yeah, yeah. Didn't go through. So I was thinking maybe since I've been on the page so long, the internet hiccup, refreshed, tried it again, same thing. Changed a couple deals on the order, see if that went through, same thing. So it got denied, but it pulled the money out of my freaking account. So that was like 300 and some dollars, or not 300, but uh, 600 and some dollars just in the wind. I'm like, holy, because it was 211 total. So it was like, what, $633 just sitting in the wind? I'm like, holy freaking crap. So I got that straightened out. And they told me, yeah, I grabbed my notes. They told me that it was an issue with my dress. So I fixed that at the bank, went to order it again, got the same deal. And ultimately, I had to call them. And they took that one off, and they I just had to order it over the phone. And it came here. Other than that shit, it got here without a hiccup. But I'm just like, holy crap. So I'm real excited to get this guy. And like I said, I've been after him for quite a while now. He's probably my favorite. I mean, because Nemesis Prime, he's awesome. The black paint job, but this guy right here. His paint is just friggin' incredible. Because you can just see more detail. You know, you can't see as much with the black. But with this one, you can see just all that detail in the paint and the damage. Love it. And here soon, I plan on expanding my collection beyond Transformers. Um, because Slideshow always pops up on my Facebook and I'm actually getting ready to order a special edition Mark II Iron Man. He's going to be about 12 inches tall. Really excited for that one. That's the same size as my NECA Leonardo here. And I still need to get Raphael. I'm not too worried about Donatello and Michelangelo. I mean, of course... You want to have the whole set eventually, I guess, but those two are my favorite. They actually had these at my local mall around Christmas last year. That's where I picked him up. I didn't have to order it, but after Christmas, they never got any more back in. They got Leonardo, and that was it. So I wish I'd have bought Raphael at the time then. Because Leonardo, like I said, the only one that they kept getting in, and now they ain't got none of them. So... I'm going to have to order Big Bad Toy Store. There you have them on there. That's where I got it bookmarked. $119. So, yeah. MPP 10Z has kind of been a random video. You know. Kind of showcasing all my stuff. But, you know. Not like I'm a professional YouTuber. There's someone who's bored and decided to make a video. But, yeah. Yeah, let y'all check out the figure, because I know that's what I usually want to do by watching videos. I mean, I'm there to see the figure. Let me get a little bit closer. I'm hoping that's focusing up. Get all this mess out of the way. Me and my girlfriend was doing some stuff around the apartment. But yeah. Check him out.
right. Thank you for watching.